Hey dudes, today I want to talk about shifting or changing pitch. So let's jump right into it and make today a quick video. All right, let's listen to what I got. I'm talking real slow and I'm going to make it slower. Every time I spit, it's like a flamethrower. Nice. So all we got to do is go to audio suite, pitch shift. And today we're just going to do pitch shift legacy. From here, we just need to adjust this course slider. So if I want to get slower or lower, I can just do like negative six. And then I can hit the little speaker icon here to preview it. If you get that error message, remember you have to actually click on the clip with the hand grabber first. I'm talking real slow and I'm gonna make it slower. Every time I spit, it's like a flamethrower. So now all I need to decide is whether I wanna do time correction or not. So if I have time correction on and then I hit render, it'll keep it the same length. I'm talking real slow and I'm gonna make it slower. If I undo that and remove time correction, and render it, you see that it actually expands everything and makes it slower. I'm talking real slow and I'm gonna make it slower. Of course, we could do the opposite of this and get into some chipmunk territory. I'm talking real slow and I'm gonna make it slower. Every time I spit, it's like a flamethrower. So we'll render this without time correction. I'm talking real slow and I'm gonna make it slower. Every time I spit, it's like a flamethrower. You see how much faster that happens now in terms of actual length in seconds? Or I can do a time correction and, I don't know, change it to just a regular plus 6 instead of plus 12. I'm talking real slow and I'm gonna make it slower. Every time I spit, it's like a flamethrower. Okay, and then we'll just put time correction on and maybe not push it that far. Let's just do 6, render. I'm talking real slow and I'm gonna make it slower. Every time I spit, it's like a flamethrower. All right, that's it. Like I promised, super quick video. I just wanted to show you that you can change or shift the pitch of any audio file you have by using an easy plugin in Pro Tools called Pitch Shift Legacy. I hope you get to use this in some of your upcoming projects and you have fun with it. And until next time, later dudes.